all I can say is really that we're both, I think, finding our groove in the solo world, and you never know what time can do. Florida Georgia Lions' Brian Kelly and Tyler Hubbard may have gone their separate ways, but the door isn't closed to an FGL reunion. As a fan, I've been enjoying it, obviously, because I get to hear new music from mm -hmm. the both of you, mm -hmm. but you know, we also know that what you guys went through and that you guys had differences and things like that. That's no secret. Do you guys still talk? Man, you know, he's, he's reached out and um, uh, congratulated me and, you know, we've, we've chatted through some things. We both were obviously sad and, and definitely, you know, bummed out about FGL House closing. We both wanted that to continue as a, as a real special piece of our legacy. So that one, we were both, we were both texting each other about that, but um, we bo he just put out a record. My record just came out. And so I know we're both probably, I know I am flying by the seat of our pants and just, um, you know, he always has my well wishes. I want him to crush it. Um, I expect nothing less than for him to do that, you know? And so, uh, man, we're just both out here giving it hell, you know, trying to trying to just uh, chase these dreams and we'll see where, uh, where they bring us back to. And Brian's latest dream, Tennessee Truth, is out now. Comes out in the whiskey, comes out when I'm tipsy. I can't no different than those that are going to be jamming this record you know we, we have the same mindsets our worlds revolve around the same things that's hunting fishing being outdoors working hard and you know at the end of that work having something to look forward to whether that's doing nothing like a song on my record or you know getting a little lake day and 10 o'clock on the dock in it with the love of your life because you did write eight out of the 12 yeah, songs yeah. on this project so tell me how that was different to approach this more from that songwriting that you've always wanted to do yeah a lot of these songs um you know were written with people i hadn't really even written with before some of them are you never know where a great idea the next great writer and and to treat to treat everybody like they're somebody that's how me and my wife like to live our lives, and that's that's an, a great example that's rubbed off on us. And so to not worry about, hey, what credentials do they have to be in this room? How many hits do they have? I, I wasn't concerned with that. I was looking for the truth and the authenticity and the ideas every session, right? Yes. And so, but the, that in terms of that writing experience, this record, a lot of new writers, and so you're kind of getting to meet them, and you kind of hear a little bit about them. You're like, yeah, we're probably, We'd probably go fishing together just even before you meet him, you know, we'd probably get along really well, but you just get in there and you go to work. Well, you've been referring to this album as your debut album, but yeah. you did put out Sunshine State of Mind yeah. in 2021. So why do you feel like this is the project that represents you as your debut? Yeah, so, you know, Sunshine State of Mind, I love that record. I'm forever grateful that I put that out. There's so many changes in, in my life and even on my team and my world from Sunshine State of Mind to this. It's like, I'm able to really just kind of go for it, you know? Um, both records to me are super authentic and uh, to who I am and to my voice and, and also very different. Um, you know, a, a song that best describes me and my heart and my lifestyle on Tennessee Truth uh, is Bare Feet or Boots. No matter where we slipping off to, ain't nothing like you, baby. Bare Feet or Boots. That Bare Feet or Boots lifestyle is, is my headspace and so um, but just sonically, man, I, you know, I wanted to have, I wanted to kind of make a splash, I guess you could say, and, and, and really just do what I love. I mean, I, I love the sounds of this record. Like, I wouldn't have put it out if I didn't like it. 